The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 69. NASDAQ's up 25. S&Ps are up 5.5. Gold contract up 470, trading at 12.46.40. Silver up 5 cents, $15.72. You got late sweet crude flat, $57.20 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 4 ticks, 124.08. 30-year bond up 18, 153.07. And they can't hold them down. They say, you know... We, it's Fed Day, too, right? It's Fed Day. Uh, bottom line is that each and every time these bonds go down, they as soon as they get near a lower swing point, they get scared. They start running topside <laughs> again. They get buyers. King dollar. King dollar is down 210 ticks, 93.490. The euro is at 117.5 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out there at 113 uh, to the U.S. dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think or swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, 45 minutes from now, just go to TFNN, hit Tiger TV. You want to understand the option market upside down, defined risk, the Excuse futures market, and guess what? Now on TD Ameritrade, you can also get into paper money, uh, and you can get your head wrapped around uh, Bitcoin because, you know, <laughs> bottom line, whether you're traded or not, I think we all should have a good understand and education of what it is. I was talking to you about it for the three minutes before the show, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean it, it didn't even have to do with our show open. Listen, just talking Nick, about I was working out with Ethereum Nico. Ethereum went up like $200 right. in the last, it's, right. it's, yeah. And I was working out with Nico this morning, we were talking about it. My head was spinning, man. I, I said to him, I said, you know, we got to really figure this out. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Good luck with that figuring it out. I was just going to say, I, Kevin, no, you got to figure it out. Let's go. Well, I guess that's the that's the that's the that 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 is not the the the, the right wording. But what right. I'm saying more than anything oh, yeah. is that I, I really just got to wrap your head around. I, I have to get to really understand what this thing is. I, not not to trade it, just in general, though. You know what I mean? Because it's maybe like, to trade it a little. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> uh, Tom, do do you think there's not conference rooms full of guys in these financial? Uh, firms thinking how do we get a handle on this yes and how do we trade it and how do we stay hedged now i think when the cme comes on with their contract i think the arb will be substantial i agree that's what i'm, wait I'm waiting trade. you know it's intriguing you know and the cboe folks is, is a good exchange it's a small exchange but you know personally i'm just waiting for it to trade there because i'll feel a lot more confident what the bid and offer is you know, I said, what I don't the, think you're alone in that thought. Yeah, right. No, it's, it's you know, so it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, and it must be cool, those rooms of, you know, MIT engineers, right? In hey, terms us of, three, forget the MIT engineers. That's what are we listen, talking I'm about. I'm talking about the I guys know, that I know, you, need, you need the back-end cryptocurrency knowledge where they're saying, okay, we'll have futures positions here. Yes. We'll have a paper wallet with the backing of Bitcoin here, That's you right. know, and we'll have, and then we'll have all these prices. And guess what? We're just going to be printing cash for the different bid offers in all right. these different markets taking place. Uh, yeah. Was, yeah, <laughs> no, no, there's no sure. doubt. Was, because that is the tough part we talked about yesterday, is being able to hedge yourself in a, a physical a Bitcoin physical market, in terms of, you know, right? That's yeah. where it's at. I, and I think a lot of people are trying to get, you know, they'll, they'll get a much better feel when some options come on the board, too. They will. Definitely. You know, that'll be another way to really help you hedge your risk and help you trade this thing. Yeah, there's Definitely. no doubt. So, you know, we have Fed Day today. Yes. The, uh, you know, this is Yellen's last hurrah, basically. I mean, she has, you know, one more meeting. Um, it's going to be intriguing to see where this whole thing shakes out, right? You know, the, the right. CPI came in light this morning, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, here's what I think. I think you've got a ton of data coming out this week. I mean, r right right now as we speak, this market and these bonds that you talked about that are so strong, Tom, they're digesting the CPI number that came out today. Yeah. And even though the headline number was up 0.4, the ex-food and energy number coming in up 0.1, you know, missed. And so that was the, that's why bonds rallied. Yes. And so that's why you're seeing rates lower. That's why or yields lower. That's why you're seeing the dollar lower. Even though that headline number was a good number at point four, the ex-food and energy number disappointed. Yeah. Well, and you know what's intriguing, man? 
like when you look at this, folks, okay, so, so we've been in this low rate environment for a long time. The reality is, is that if we stay in it and the dollar goes down a little bit more, our companies are going to be selling so many goods, it's insane because the dollar's going down. So sure. it's inexpensive to buy our goods everywhere. Sure. You know, so it's really intriguing just, you know, because we know that the corporations are making money hand over fist, right? And I don't see yeah, how that... We're good, this, that's for sure. Yeah, and I, that, this is not something that would hurt the corporations. You know what I mean? So it's like, wow, man. Oh, you know. a lower U.S. dollar helps our multinationals, that's for sure. Yeah. Right, right. So it's yep. like, you know, it, and Powell seems to be the status quo, really. I mean, do you know what I mean? It's, well, in terms of monetary policy, he certainly does right. seem like he's aligned with Janet Yellen. Now, regulation-wise, it sounds like he's a little bit in favor of less regulation than Janet Yellen was. So it'll be interesting to see what comes in terms of that respect. You know, listen, no doubt. Those banks yesterday, yeah. they were on fire, folks, okay? Right. These, these banks broke out big. I mean, and that's why you've seen the rally in the financials in the banks yeah. for that reason exactly. Big number. I, I mean, it's part of it. Goldman Sachs, you know, it, it took Goldman Sachs a long time to take out all those highs, you know, going back to 2007, but it did it with gusto yesterday, you know? Right. It, so that's a, that's a big number, there's no doubt. It's going, to be interesting. it's going to be interesting at the end of the week. Remember, tomorrow we got retail sales, which okay. I think is one of the most, you know, the second most important uh, bit of macroeconomic data after payrolls and unemployment, I think, is retail sales. We are a consumer-driven economy. Yeah. And, you know, if you, what happened yesterday, folks, is that uh, I'm sure many of us in many cities, Westfield sold all his... Um, malls you know and that that guy was in the business forever i think the positive there is they caught a good bid i mean it was a big money they paid for so malls aren't out of business sure you know you, you know so it's like what are they going to do with them boy they're going to do something with them because they paid big money for that all those malls yeah yes they are they're, they're, but you're you're exactly right two things are happening malls in terms of prices are lower but they're trading which means people are making investments in malls still but there may have to be some type of evolution of the modern Definitely, right? they're, they're, shopping mall what, yeah. what, is, what is the true definition of a mall in three to five years and it's not just like some random stores right it's it's an no. environment that has to suck you in with, and I say that in a good way, you know, yes. good dining, good environment with some stores around it, kind of its it own could little... Be a combination health club, grocery right. store, Everything. and right. clothing. It's its right. own little it ecosystem. And right. all you folks listening, if you can figure that out, you're going to be a multi-millionaire very quick because exactly. that, there's and no it's going to happen quick because those happen. old malls are dying. That's, they're getting closed and the new yeah. malls People are, are already out there, right, by, by, by this deal that you mentioned, Tom. People are already making bets right. and yeah. making plans. Big bets. You, you think this guy's not m making this deal without some type of plan ready to go in place for, for these malls? I right. Think so. and I agree. And with the amount of risk that is taken on, you really got to have some exposure to the upside, as in there's big plans for yeah. some big profits if you're going to take on that type of risk. Totally. Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to understand the option market, the futures market, defined risk. Kevin, the team, they got a great program, uh, strategies, and, you know, what's really cool, you know, whether you're going to get involved in Bitcoin or not, Knowing the strategies in the option market, I think, is an absolute must if you even think of touching well, you can Bitcoin. apply it to any trade, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's, it's huge, man. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, uh, we look forward to show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Kevin. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow is up 81. Nasdaq's up 24. S&Ps are up 5. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial's up 75. You get the Nasdaq up 23. S&Ps are up four and a half. Uh, our man Paul from San Jose, he turned us on to a good site. So let's go over and take a look at this site. He sure did. So even if yeah. you Google like live Bitcoin prices, I yeah. think this is the site it brings you to. And this site was purchased by one of the largest uh, exchanges out there a while back I was, was looking it? at. Just because I think they did such a good job at all this different all the different cryptocurrencies. Yeah. So this is Bitcoin we have up here now. Markets at 17,087, yep. according to this, all right? And, that, and this lists multiple exchanges, I think, in the back end. But what I wanted to show you, what I was showing you during the break, is this is the market, essentially. Now, again, I'm not sure where they're getting this, right? There's multiple different exchanges, but right. they're trying to show you the depth of the market. So what's kind of cool is, and I'm gonna zoom in even a little bit further, just so that people can see the actual digits. So. Here's the price. Yeah. These are going to be offers, right? These are going to be bids. You can see the, the grain of bids, the red are offers, right? Okay. So right now, I mean, they're looking. And the at, market is the white in the middle, seventeen thousand seventy-three. Right, and I'm sure that's the what is that? The last basically price, maybe it's going off at. Um, but what's also cool is you have volume here, and you have volume. This first column yeah. is going to be the amount. Now, like right here, we can see there's a nine. See this yeah. one nine jumping around? That's a big order, and it, it'll that, it'll show you that depth. Now it's gone. Underneath on the, on these red and greens, which is pretty cool. So you can see immediately up top, there's more there's larger sell orders. I can see that just visually how the oh, red graph yeah. goes bigger. Right. And see how it climbs to this is the cumulative number of the size, the volume, right. the cumulative volume, adding all these up. So this is. Increasing, this is increasing, but just by the red graph over here, I'm just going to zoom out a little because those numbers are over. See, so this, which, whichever graph is furthest to the left, representing yeah. like the biggest area of shade underneath it, is kind of it gives, a, a, it gives you a decent idea. A deeper market, yeah, yeah. And you can and you can go out very far, and you can get to see as you really go far in this, you know, hundreds of dollars away from the price. Well, looks like there's a lot more sells in than buys at, at the you know, yeah. higher end, as in it would be a lot harder for this to climb above 17.4, 17.5, yep. than it might be for it to trickle below 16.8, 16.7. And they have this for every single 
um, cryptocurrency. So that was Bitcoin, just because it makes the most sense okay. to everybody. Now let's take a look at Ethereum, because that one has had quite a run. So just Is that going, last night? This is, and I'm going to even back it up even further, because it was at 550, I believe. Yeah, so this is, let me make sure we're right. That's going to be December 11th, uh, 10th. And it's the 13th today, okay, yeah, three so days Yeah, so this is, this is all day yesterday. This is 6 o'clock a.m. yesterday. We're at 532. Wow. And it had quite a run yesterday, and it just didn't stop up to 784. And this one is not some random one, as in right. Ethereum is, is the second most to get that type of percentage gain on one, you know, versus we had Litecoin, which went up 300%, but, you know, and that has its merits, but it's not the number two to Bitcoin. Anyway, it's pretty amazing. interesting stuff. So I know crypto watch is the site, but it's crypto watt W A T. And then they get the dot C H. So it spells crypto watch, but you put the period in there right before C H and I C H. I think that's like New Zealand. Um, there where they're housed yeah. or whatever, but it's an interesting way they had it play where you're going to get a dot C H extension. So you just add the crypto watt and make it crypto watch. Totally. Yeah. And so let's go and let's just see this for a second. What do we have here? So, just curious. Yeah. Pretty close. 17,205. Yeah, so, so, so today it's close. About. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I got to see this because this, uh, okay, Bitcoin Trust, where it is right here. Okay. So this right here, this is still going wild. So today is a 58% premium. This is the uh, Bitcoin Investment Trust, yeah. 2,400. That's, that's just, the net asset value is only 1560 That's yeah net asset value right here. And right. So that's where and it's trading at 2479 Oh, my God. That's crazy. Now, what happened yesterday, I was actually expecting this that it would be reduced because what happened, I'm gonna have to, we'll do this off the air, but I want to show you something. So this is like so strange what happened yesterday. So the, the Grayscale Investments, uh, its role as agent, right? Yep turned in 172,501 Bitcoin cash tokens. And they, it says here, like, so the, the date of record was yesterday. Okay. And each shareholder was going to receive okay. $113.19. Yes. Okay. Now, the thing that's wild is that if you turn them in, that's like some kind of a, a dividend. Well, the dividend's going to be I would expect that this price would go down because, you know, you're getting, you're getting something back, but yet if we look at the, the net asset value versus what it's trading at, you know, you're buying a share that has a 58% premium, but when you turn it into cash, you're only getting the cash. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I expected maybe it's going to be tomorrow, but I, I was expecting this to pull down today because of that. If the like, like when a stock does a distribution, folks, you know, like if, let's say it's 20 cents, right? Well, it opens up in the morning like 18 to 20 cents lower. That's just normal. Sure. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see where that shakes out. But maybe I, it's the fact that that money wasn't factored into it, though. What would if if if, if like I'm just theorizing the same way, but normally dividends are factored into the share price, right? Right. Did anybody know that, that they had $113 coming to it? I'd say no. Right. Then that's why no, so, exactly. so if like GE came out and right. Simon, uh, that's again different because you're depleting company profits. Yeah. But literally they're like, oh, by the way, we have $113 and oh, by the way, we're going to give it to anybody that owns it by the end of the day. And it's like, well, and oh, we didn't did even know that and we were pricing it at this. So yeah. it's not going to change. It's just yeah. kinda, it's already but, in and out but of they, the value. But they, they have depleted their assets. You're right. You're right. You know? No, so I agree. It's, it's interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's wild, man. It is. So, yeah. This is truly the Wild West, folks. It's just crazy. Oh, you know what? I tell you what, it's Wednesday. We haven't oh, jumped yeah. over uh, so oh, much going on, right? Where yeah. are we? Let's get it. I know I have Nate X around here somewhere. I, you know what? I brought it down because I signed into my account oh. and I brought it down. And Sorry. then we don't have it. That's all right. Okay. We can put it back up. We need to be just... Yeah, you get it. Hey, I'll, I'll put that on. Okay. Except, I, I think what happened is that we've been. Um, uh, we'll get there. Yeah. Just give me a second. Oh, that's why. Uh, let's see. Yeah. What do you have in there? Gold trades. Surprise, surprise. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. 
pull it over. Uh, so we'll jump in. Commodities, yeah. spreads, crude oil. We have four minutes until the news, one okay. minute until the break. We'll start off at the 11 a.m.s. Oil trade in 57.25. Looks like the floors and the ceilings could line up at 57.50, so we're a little bit of ways. How about the noons? Oh, we're going to get it right on the noons. Noons, we have a bullish one, 57.25 to the bullish side. Going to cost us about 13. 57 to the bearish side for a buck 50. Going to cost, cost us about 13, literally because it's at 57.25, so each one should be the same price. $26 for noon, and we can do it during the break, but let's just see where the 230s, not quite there. And how about these? 57.50, if we wanted to do a 230, we could line it up. So we'll take a look at the break, but $26 for the noons if we wanted to both ways. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 87 and NASDAQ's up 22. Come right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, crude inventories fell 5.1 million barrels. Uh, let's see, what else are they saying out here? Gas inventories rising 5.6 million barrels. So crude oil, crude oil down, gas up seems to be the consensus lately. We'll jump over here. 57, 20, 28. We had a little bit of a spike down. Check out that spike. Yeah. Um, all the way down to 57.10 within a few seconds of the news. So you decide to go for one contract of each one, right? This okay. is tr just strictly a vault. 
Excuse me, folks. The volatility traders need 26 cents. Yeah, 20. Right. That's even with commissions. It was 24. Right. Was the nice. Uh, you got in bullish spread from 50. Excuse me. Bullish spread on the bottom here, 57.25 to 58.75, and then the same dollar 50 to the downside, and you got in 12 dollars on each side. Right. Not, not too bad. I mean, right now, literally 57.37. You're a break even to the upside, 12 cents. Ah, sorry. No, that's 12. You need 26. Right. Excuse me. So right. about 57.50. Or 57. Yeah. We'll see. We're getting a little bit of action and uh, even pulling this back off. There we go. So, median estimate was only about 2.9 million decline, came in at about 5.1. Cushion crude, decline of 3.3 million barrels. Pad 3, decline of about like 285,000 barrels. Lots of gasoline. Well, yeah. yeah, look at that. I mean, they only estimated 2.3 million barrels. We had a rise of 5.6. Pad 1 gas, rise of 2.3. Distillates, I mean, misses all over the place. Distillates, you had a decline of 1.3 million versus an estimate of a rise of 1.2. Right. See, that's that's the cold weather. That's heating oil. Yeah. And, and jet fuel. But sure. You know, bottom line is there. Yeah. So we'll see. And let's see what they're talking about. Yep. That was a surprising draw on the distillate stock. Gasoline build bearish for futures. Um, so there's gasoline bouncing around as well big time yeah. in terms of just not just the crude and we'll get back here before we jump around so pulling back kind of that 57.25 but what's nice is these are the noons too 12 right. o'clock not right. the 11s and we right. know how much oil can bounce around in an hour and a half on EIA day exactly definitely exactly and if we go over so let's uh, uh, we'll go over to the gold market for a second so uh, you know gold has been teetering folks uh, and what you had out here yesterday uh, is that, you know, it, it tucked under the, well, it, what it did is it went right to the strength of July 14th, 1241.30. We got to 1238.30, rejected it, closed out at 1241.70. And then this morning, we had a nice pop when the CPI came out. So that was Definitely. a nice little pop. Um, I actually got in about two minutes before that. Okay. <laughs> and and what I was doing, if you, if you see it, Can I, we I'll, pull it up? I'll, yeah, I'll show you on this one first. Okay, Let me just show it, you on sure, this one. It. What had happened, folks, is that you had this little tiny spike. Now, if you look at this, right? See that, that spike yes. right there? 810. Yep. Yeah. And see that the contracts. I do. Okay, 3200. Now, watch it happen. This is where I get in. It pulled back and see the, the shrink in. I says, okay, man, I'm going to give it a gun. But nice. now you can bring in the other one. Um, and I, what I was actually doing there is that I was actually looking not so much for that pop there, but I was looking for the pop before 1.30. So what happens, unfortunately, in, in the gold market uh, is that the gold market won't be tradable in the Nadex product when the Fed comes out. Sure. But as I, you can always just this, they have weekly binaries oh, okay. just to put things, okay. put the spreads right. expire for yeah. daily at 1.30. Right. Yeah. So I knew that I wasn't trading it for that, but I felt that going through the day I thought I was going to catch a bid but yeah it, it, so 1225 to 1275 yeah. 50 spread right and it looks like you got in at 1243.30 pretty yeah. not pretty close to the yeah. square in the middle would be 1250 right but yeah. but fairly close yeah um, yeah and at 826 so right. four minutes before that news not bad and it looks you know you got in 1243 trading at 1246 yeah. $3. Yeah. yeah and you got till 130 about what three more hours right yeah so we'll see, uh, you know, the, the, the pop is nice. And what hasn't happened yet is that they haven't uh, tested that high yet. I expect we're going to get that Which tested. is another $3 yeah. to the upside. Which, yeah. is, which is really sweet. Uh, let's go over and take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials, uh, see what the strength is versus the weakness uh, inside the Dow. And uh, Dow, of course, no, all-time highs again. Caterpillar is putting 23 points into it. Boeing, 18. 3M, 11. Home Depot, uh, 7. IBM is uh, really the only big negative down. Yep. To take putting a negative 15 into it. Pretty amazing. We're going to be at Dow 25,000 potentially by the end of the year. Yeah, no, intense. There's no, there's no doubt. And what, what has happened? There's no doubt. And we've been talking about this. The higher these numbers get, the easier it is for the Dow to, to put up put up points. Yeah, you know, totally. Uh, some of the inside the index 100, uh, the movers out here. You got uh, this is always the 
M E L I. This is a hard start to pronounce. Uh, Mercado Libre. It, uh, Mercado good. Libre. Mercado Libre. Okay. You got to remember like Cuba Libre, no, like that's, a rum and coke with a lime. That'll yeah, get you there. Mercado will. Libre. Yeah. <laughs> that's up 15 bucks at uh, 310. Uh, that's the leader. Uh, you have uh, Netsies uh, is up 10. You got uh, Bio Biogen's up uh, 380. Priceline's up 370. You want to talk about high price stocks? Check out those top five. Priceline, 1727. Google, Look at that. All yeah. $300 stocks above there. Seriously. Yeah. And then on the way down, you get Charter Communications off five bucks. Uh, Shire is down 158. Fox uh, is down a buck and a half. And I guess the, uh, let me see, is, is the Disney deal going through? I think the, I think Disney's taken over. Uh, um, the Fox Enterprises yeah. outside of the, the news. Outside the news and the yeah. sports, yeah. right? Right. They're going to keep the news and the sports. You know what it looks like? It looks like. That uh, it almost seems that so they're moving the studio out, they're moving their Sky Network out, and it's almost like they get they're gonna get have it set up that they take the company private and then start it all over again. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Which would be really It'd be smart. A dramatically smaller company. Oh, it, once it they is. Do that. Once, right. once, once they once yeah. they sold this asset, it actually is. So, uh, and it looks like one of the sons are going to Disney. Okay. Yeah. Which is that that'd be a big coup. I mean, because Iger. Has been there. He's still young, but I could see another four or five years. That that's that's why you know part of that could be that yeah he's gonna you know we'll see. ESPN's a lot. ESC ESPN Disney is a lot bigger company than just bringing in what that Fox Enterprise will be. You know. Oh, there's no there's no doubt about that. Let's go to uh, Bob in St. Pete. Hey, Bob, what's going on? Hey, uh, Tom. Uh, one comment and one question. Uh, uh, it might be ancient history. It might be uh, history by now, but uh, there are people that believe that Bitcoin Cash is the true Bitcoin, and that the uh, uh, that it's a little bit more true to the uh, uh, founder's intent. And uh, a few weeks ago, they had what's called a fork. Yes. Uh, in the major Bitcoin, and they uh, failed to uh, enact that. And the difference between Bitcoin Cash and regular Bitcoin is that the Bitcoin Cash has a longer block structure to it and actually encrypts the data faster. So your transaction time is not the seven to eight, ten days, which, which is a big uh, deal. It's being mentioned. So um, let's bring the chart up because the Bitcoin Cash is on that crypto. Okay. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm not I, sure. I, I, I saw it there yesterday when we did it. Yeah, stay right there, Bob. We're going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow and Dash is up 105. You get the NASDAQ up 27. S&Ps are up 6. We're going to come right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we got uh, man Bob from St. Pete. We're talking, uh, actually, uh, we're going to talk GM and Tesla. Right now, we're, we're talking Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, we have the um, the chart up here, Bob. And this this mm -hmm. this went, you know, wild, too. There's no doubt, man. I mean, you, you know, this was like a dividend. I mean, so my my understanding, too, this morning uh, is that they're going to try to, uh, the guy, same guy that tried to do another fork, what that was a failure, what, three weeks ago, is going to try it again. So I, I don't quite... They're like dividends. There's no doubt because if you own Bitcoin, now you have a piece of Bitcoin Cash too, right? Uh, the Bitcoin Cash is a separate is a separate entity. Uh, there, if, if someone was like a long time holder of Bitcoin, they got some Bitcoin Cash, but it's viable on the market as a separate entity. And yeah, no, I understand that, but the only I understand that, but the way that it came yes, about sir. is that you needed Bitcoin to get Bitcoin Cash. That's how it got generated. Okay. That's okay. what those fox are all about. That's why what happens, what they're worried about is that if you have too many fox, then all of a sudden you're destroying the Bitcoin, sure. the integrity of the Bitcoin. That's what, that's what the, you know, the, the fight's about. Do you know what I mean? So, sure. Yeah, but that's uh, hooking. Uh, on General Motors, uh, I'm reading that they're going to bring out uh, almost 20 electric cars within the next two or three years. And given the price of GM in the 40s right now, do you think... Uh, long term, that uh, what, what do you see stacking up with that? I would let this baby settle down a bit. Uh, you know, I mean, we just went from 34 to what 46. You know, you, you came down with pretty big volume uh, in December. So, okay. I mean, I let I suspect it's going to drift back to the 38 dollars where it broke out from. If you got if you got to drift back there with light volume, then yeah, you could, then you get some good action, man. You know, because there's there's no doubt. We're going in the electric car era. Can, can you go into just how much um, revenue they have? We've done this before. Because yeah. I'm just going to say from a fundamental long-term perspective, you're probably pretty safe if that's your thinking, Bob, only because, yeah, I mean, look at, so we just pulled up their revenue. You're talking about a company in 2016, 166 billion, but they're down to 144, but then next year, 143.5, call it yeah. of $143 billion, good earnings. And now go back to their regular description page because this is, it's just going to get to their P.E. is so low. Um, Tesla's is so high. So they have a P.E. of 6.7, right. which is so low. And they're going to be competing in the electric car. And now let's go to Tesla. This is yeah. going to be my point to see what, what. And last one, they're a $60 billion company, General Motors. Yeah. So then you go to Tesla. Call it a $60 billion company, $57.8 billion. They don't have a P.E. because they make no profit, right. number one, right? I mean, Dave White, if he's in the den, is going to love this comparison. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, then you go to revenue, 
And so 2016, they had 7 billion. 2017, they have 11.7. 2018, they have 20 billion. And I believe in Tesla too. Right. You know, there's stories. They just had Pepsi, I think, take 100 of those yeah, semis trucks. yesterday. Yeah. Um, but still, it's like, guess what? They're not going to be able to dominate the. They don't have a patent on the electric car. You know, there's not. No. They're, they're, all of the companies are coming. Volvo is coming. They already said in like four, six years, they're all going to be electric. GM knows, so they're going to be there. So that's my my point is that yeah, you you I think in the long run, if you're banking on electric cars being big, a company with a PE of six or seven versus a company that's not even making mm -hmm. profits versus the same valuation, they're both worth worth sixty billion dollars. Yeah. As much as I love Tesla, I think if you said to me as a private investor, which company would you want to have today for the price tag of sixty billion dollars? I might say GM, even though you know. I mean, just to put things, it's it, quite a lofty. No, I, I. If you if you like the car business and the electric right. business, buy both of them. You know, that's oh, yeah. that's, no, that's that kind of the hedge. Do you know what I'm saying? That'd be a good point too. You know, okay. that's the other the side. The industry's a good spot to be in. Right. That's what, no matter right. what, like right. they're going to be the electric. You know, the the world is changing. Electric cars right. are going to take over every. There's no reason why we're going to need gas. Yep. I mean, it's foolish. It's intense. When you when I can't imagine driving a Tesla not paying for gas and then ever being back in a car where you're filling up twice a week. And if you, if you happen to be Tommy's age out there, folks, okay, mm -hmm. what you want to do is go buy a nice car with a big engine, put it in a garage, and 50 <laughs> years from now it's going to be worth a fortune, a big gasoline engine. It is. No, it, you know what I mean? Because what's going to happen, they're not going to be out there. Sure. And when you basically do the numbers on it, you know, you have to st store it for a while, but I, that's going to be a good investment because, it's, you know, people are going to look around and say, wow, what is this? What's oh, that noise? Yeah. Right. right? Oh, the different you know? sounds and yeah. everything. Right. right. No, for sure. Cooking, brother. Thank you. Okay, man. Thanks have a for great the call, one. Bob. Have a safe one. Right. Yeah, be interesting to see where Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, yeah. Litecoin. Let me see if I can find, Iota. That, find that story. Everyone's got their golf, that, golf he, course tip for crypto. Yeah. Um, let's see if I do it. Uh, I saw this, let's see. It's not on that one. Let me see if I can find it. The story I'm looking for, folks, is the, uh, the when we were talking about the FARC, um, it had up here that they were going to try it again. Let's see. Maybe go down even lower. This only gets us till nine. Oh yeah, it'll be earlier this morning. I think I hit it, so it might be. Okay. No, maybe I'll last night. Yeah. No, this. What 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 happens here too? I think is there's this. Oh. No. There, I was just going to say there's so many news articles on oh, Bitcoin right now there that is. it's flooded with uh, with a variety of even when you. And, and trust them. me, folks. That's I said at the time. We're trying not, not to talk about it, <laughs> and it's and it's impossible almost. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Um, you know, because it's like okay, it just it it moves so dramatically. Well, and like and like we you know we're, we're talking about trading, and there's no way you can't talk about it when you have Bitcoin going up ten thousand dollars in a month, and you have Ethereum going up some kind of crazy percentage in one day. All right, we got a next caller, Frank in New Jersey. Frank, good morning. What's happening, Frank? Hey, thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling, man. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Well, I've been uh, doing the crypto thing pretty much all year. Okay. So it's, it's been exhausting. Yeah, that's what Paul says, No too. time for rest in that. It's, it's, it's tough making money hand over fist, huh? <laughs> uh, well, I'll give you an idea. I paid uh, probably twenty eight fifty for my Litecoin. Okay. $28.50? That's and what's beautiful. that one? That one's that's, the ones that are like four hundred three, now. Three fifty, three fifty, yeah. yeah. Sweet. That is yeah, man. It's, it's like it's like crazy. It is. But in any case, I, I uh, compliments on that uh, crypto watch. That's pretty cool. It is pretty. Yeah, so man, Paul that, from San Jose is the first one that brought that in, and it is. That's I was playing with it for an hour this morning, and I think when once you really get into it, there's even more um, that you can do in there. Yeah. They have some type of service where you can tie it to your accounts. It's only fifteen dollars a month, so maybe they're trying to monetize some of that data. Okay. Um, but just the depth of the market and to pull it back up. Um, so, yeah. so Frank, is there, that? There, yeah. I, I'm just curious that, that the um, the Litecoin. So that's what you like trading, right? Uh, actually, I use Ethereum to buy ICOs. Okay. Which are initial coin offerings, which are similar to IPOs. Yep. Okay. But in cool. the tokenized world. Okay. And uh, as far as the fees, uh, Litecoin is fairly, fairly low. And and uh, Ethereum's low, Bitcoin's like ridiculous. Is it so? The fees it's are important. The fees are always important. Yeah, right. So, do you give us an idea of how how it works with the fees? 
All right, let's take Coinbase, for instance. Yep. Let's just say you want to buy uh, Bitcoin. Okay. They take... I tell you what, not to step. cut you off, we're just going to the Sam break. I would love to hear this myself. Yeah. Can you hang with us, Frank, and we can talk about sure. it? This is awesome. I, I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. stay right there, folks. Uh, Frank from New Jersey, Tom and uh, Tommy O'Brien, we're coming right back. We want, well, we'd love to hear from you, but we only get uh, six minutes when we come back. That's okay. sad. We're going to wrap it up with some good cryptocurrency yeah, fee knowledge. We're going to get educated. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Frank from New Jersey. We're talking about the fees that are involved when you trade these. Go ahead, Frank. Okay, uh, if you use Coinbase, it's 1.5% uh, on the buy and 1.5% on the sell. Oh, cool. Okay. Now, the professional uh, site for Coinbase is GDAX. GDAX yep. charges one quarter of 1% both ways. Interesting. And, and now Unless is, you do a um, limit order and then it's free. I got it. And that's that's a big difference. You do a limit order, they just cross an order. Paul was saying he was doing limit orders. That's right. what he does. Yeah, right. You know, right. Yeah. Hey, so you save you save a few bucks that way. Interesting, man. And then uh, as you transfer the, the Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever to another location, that's when the miners come in because they, they verify the transactions as it goes. That's, How did they, they get They have paid? their own fees for that. That's, that's what you're saying. That's another fee oh. as you're, if you're transferring it 
to somewhere else, right, that you're paying fees there. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And the miners and have to do the transfer, right. right? And that's what takes the, the period of time between three or four days? Is that what happens? I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin takes about a minute. Yeah. Okay. Right so it gets a little little stuffy. Uh, Litecoin and Ethereum are pretty quick. I mean, within a few moments. Well, no, I understand so that part, meaning that, that you the know time. the price that you get, but it doesn't get into your account for the... No, I think it's pretty quick. That's why I did it. I see. It's fast. Yeah, I see. That's, there's no six or seven. Well, in any case, there's a couple sites beyond the crypto watch. Probably the most viewed site is Coin Market Cap. Okay. Coin Market Cap. Okay. Check that out as that well. That actually has all the cryptocurrencies. Let's try it out. All 1,300 or whatever it is. 1,300. Oh my God. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, nice. We have that up as well. Cool, man. Perfect. We appreciate the Listen, call. Thanks the information, so much, man. man. I'm sure the listeners do as well. Yeah. Oh, there's one other. We got we got we got 15 seconds, unfortunately. Give us a call back, man. Crypto all right. Crypto compare. Crypto compare. Cool. Okay. Awesome. It has everything about coins, exchanges, mining, and wallets. Thanks, Paul. Awesome. Stay right there, folks. Uh, swim lessons coming right up. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.